I'm going to jump right into my second bullet point. Uh, this is something that I, I'll tell you how this happened. I was um, looking into the new PlayStation VR headset, the PSVR 2. It's coming mm-hmm. out end of next month. And mm-hmm. I've been on the fence about pre-ordering it um, for various reasons, but that's irrelevant. The, when I was watching, it was, they had a, they had it available at CES. So people, a lot of the journalists were getting to look at it, you know, for the first time and give impressions. And the press has been fairly, po- well, almost unanimously positive about it. But I was watching some videos of some of the games coming out and some of the uh, details on those and what looks good and what doesn't. And I had this thought that I don't know if this exists and I just haven't seen, I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist. And maybe it's too niche of a market to ever exist, but you know how YouTube is full of uh, those like ambiance videos? Like you can pull up like, oh, I actually use these to write a lot. Uh, oh, look, I can just pull up this screen that makes me look like I'm sitting in a uh, a cabin in the woods with a fire going and it's snowing outside and you, you can mm-hmm. hear the crackling in the wind. Like the, those kind of, or like the, um, the coffee shops that has like this jazz playing and you know, that kind of stuff. Like I yeah. love those. Those are such... You, cool and simple ideas and they're just fun to put up and like just kind of relax to mm-hmm. why don't we have those in vr and why don't we why hasn't like amazon made one to integrate with audible mm-hmm. or the kindle mm-hmm. like you know i want to go sit in this snowy s- snow surrounded cabin with a <clears> fireplace <throat> going and i want to listen to my audiobook while i'm in the comfort of this cabin and I can do it from anywhere, you know, or, or right. I would love to see it at the book level. Like I'd love to be able to hold a digital Kindle in VR and like read a book, but I don't think that the pixels per inch is like high enough yet to make the text crisp to read long enough. Yeah. Uh, but for audiobooks, like, is that, would that not be, a, I mean, you know, you listen to audiobooks. Like, would that not be cool? I think it would be cool. I mean, from a from a perspective of just like having an ambiance to go and just sit in. I don't know if those exist at all either. I'm not, I'm not sure. Right. But like you know, oh, I just want to go and sit in a cabin in the woods while it's snowing, and you can go and just just hang out, and you could look around and just listen to the fireplace. But you would just be hanging out in your VR. Yeah. That alone sounds really really cool, but to have somebody reading to you in that environment would definitely make it a lot cooler. And I would think from from a design perspective, it would be so much simpler than coming up with a full game. You know, like yes. uh, you, you're, you, all you have is just one room and some sound and just have a revolving playback loop of everything else going on around yeah. you. So that seems like it would be a pretty easy thing to do for VR designers. Um, I think that's a really cool idea. I love it. I almost wonder if it's like so simple that nobody has thought to do it like why because you're right i mean it i would even be like satisfied to i I don't even need to move like if there's a recliner in the corner like just put me there and give me give me the virtual room around me or put me on a beach where exactly i'm just sitting in a i'm sitting in a beach chair or you know i'm on i'm on um somewhere in the in the caribbean right um, or in a hammock maybe, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not, you're static. You're, you're not moving, but you can look around, you can see the palm trees wave and yeah. every once in a while, maybe somebody will walk down the beach, you know, yeah. uh, that, that, that sounds really, really neat. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I don't know a ton about VR development, obviously, but I have <laughs> just like dabbled just, just a smidge in like the unreal engine with like 3d world. And I'm pretty sure that if you make the world, like if you were to make a room that's around you. I'm pretty sure that movement would kind of just come with that. Like, I'm pretty sure if the world is built, all you, you don't, it's not like they have to do any extra work to allow me to move in that room, like versus Mm -hmm. just being static other than enabling movement. But I don't even need that. Like I said, let me plop down next to a fire with the snow outside, very calm and let me listen to my audio book. And I Mm -hmm. think that would be like, so like if I had development skills, like I would so try this, like at a rudimentary level, just to see if it was possible. I feel like, like you said, it should be pretty simple. Like there's gotta be like profit to be made there, right? Somebody can just throw together a couple worlds and put it out there. And 
book nerds like me or people that just want to use it to relax, mm -hmm. we'll spend a couple bucks for it. You know, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. you don't have to charge $60, you know, like you would for a full on video game. Yeah. Real quick. What do you think of some of the environments would be? We've come up with a cabin in the woods while it's snowing and or whatever. Maybe it's, maybe it's during the spring. Yeah. Rain. Um, so a cabin in the woods, a beach, yeah. uh, you know, how about, uh, how about something even as simple as like a bookstore? I mean, yeah. you know how we've loved going to bookstores and just hanging out before. Yeah. Cafes, because that's that's another like, one that's pop, uh, real popular on YouTube is the cafe mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, the cafe for sure. Maybe even like um, any sort of like big, um, big monuments or hot spots around the world that people travel to, yeah. where you can just go and hang out like on like a park bench, maybe in Central Park or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, I guess, the, yeah. Whatever. If there's anybody out there listening that can do this, please do it and let me know because I want to try it out for sure. And yeah, because I mean, it would be it would be the equivalent of just going to these places and then just putting in some AirPod, AirPods or something and just listening to a listening to an audio book. Yeah, uh, that would be really cool. That would be way cool. Or maybe even you could you could it could even be worse where it, not worse is but but um is the wrong word but something that might be kind of neat you know where it's like maybe you're just on a on a sailboat in the middle of the ocean. I mean, God, how easy does that come up with to render? Every once in a while, you'd see like a whale, you know, come up or something like that. Right. There's a lot of really cool ideas for that. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I would love to see that for sure. But that's my big VR idea for for book lovers. And if it's out there, please somebody let me know because I want to do it. Anyway, I like it. I yeah. like it a lot.